Yo guys, what is up? This is Scammers from Minidops coming back at you again with another Discord.py episode 22.2. Today we're going to be finishing off our commands for our reaction roles, but before we dive into that, let's just hear from our sponsor, Oxide Hosting. Today's video is proudly powered by our partner, Oxide Hosting. Get your products hosted by them with their cheap, reliable services. So what are you waiting for? Check them out in the description below. Sweet, now that we've done with that, let's dive right into it so pretty much we've already got the command to set the channel you can see that from the last episode so next up let's dive in with a toggle command to turn on and off for your guild we're going to make another command a reactor roles dot command where the name is toggle you can only run this command in a guild pretty please and I think it'd be nice to have admin to be able to uh, toggle this permission. However, I don't have admin in the Discord I'm showing you this in, so I'm going to comment it out. And we're also going to be using our custom command, yeah, you know, check that we made uh, last episode up here. This sexy boy, which pretty much... Checks if the data is none because our MongoDB interface can return none if it can't find the guild it's looking for. Um, otherwise, we check if message ID is none because if that is none, it means it's not set up because our channel command has not been run. Because you'll notice we set that right there. Anyway, let's make this command. We're going to take self, we're going to take ctx, and that's all we need to take. Oh. Now, we did forget the doc string up here. We didn't forget the doc string up there. I was to put it in there in between the episodes, but that's alright. Alright, so we're going to get the data for this config. So self.bot.config.find ctx.guild.id. Yes, please. We're going to be flipping the is enabled flag. Enabled. And we're just going to be flipping that so that equals not, and then guess what? Copy, paste. So it's a boolean, so it'll go from true to false or false to true. And then we just need to upset that back into it. Self.bot.config.upset data. And then we're just going to go is underscore enabled is equal to enabled if this is true. Otherwise, it can just equal disabled. And then we can go ahead, we go wait, ctx dot send f string, please. It is currently damn, I really can't get my variable names correct right now. But anyway, we can go ahead, we can run the bot. I'll show, show you this. We can go jump into the Discord. We can run RR. It'll show you the help command. You'll see that toggle is now in there. Bam, look at that. It's currently disabled. We're going to want to enable. It's pretty much what this is doing. It is making it so that once we've set up our reactions up here, if you click on the reaction, it'll give you the role or not. So if it's disabled, you don't get the role. If it's enabled, you, you do get the role. Pretty self-explanatory, right? I think so. Anyway, let's dive into our next command. I think I want to add some emojis to our reactor roll. So let's go ahead and copy and paste this. Change this to add. Change this to manage underscore roles. And then we've got async def r underscore add. It's going to take self. It's going to take ctx. It's going to take an emoji. And this is where we use our typing.union. This is going to be either discord.emoji or a string. And then we're also just going to pass everything else into a role object. It's pretty much the way this works. Typing.union will accept either of the two. So it'll try convert it to a discord. Um, <laughs> embed. It'll try convert it to a discord.emoji first. And then when that fails, 
it will attempt to create a string from it and that's just so we could work with all our emojis from discord and also just sort of unicode things like numbers and all of that jazz anyway let's get into it we're gonna get the current reactions using my favorite uh function which is a method i have not defined so now that i've mapped out that we're going to go ahead and we're going to create this method this is going to be attached to self which means it's going to be up here so we're going to go def whack that on there although there isn't a wait so that means we need to make it async that's because we're working with the database we're also going to take a guild id and then we're just going to go in here and we're going to whack something in here which fetches our data from the database and then builds a map and a filter on top of that to return the list of current reactions this is only going to return the emoji um, but that's all right so we need to get our data with data equals oh wait self dot bot dot reaction roles dot get all if i didn't show you guys this in the first episode i'm sure i did we need to make another document for reaction roles but that's pretty self-explanatory anyway we've gone ahead we've created that and now we're going to put a filter on this bad boy so what this is going to do is it's going to filter out anything which isn't true. Oh. Guild underscore ID is going to be equal to a guild ID that we've passed through. And we're going to give it data. So pretty much the way that works. This is lazily interpreted, but we will return a list later on, which means it'll get done. So anyway, this will just basically mean it turns anything that isn't matching our guild ID and gets rid of it. So we're only working with the reactions for this guild because we can store more than one guild's reactions. We're going to make another lambda in here because we also only want the IDs. So this just maps it out and it just returns all the emojis which are stored as the ID for our guild. We don't want anything more than that. We don't want anything less than that. But <laughs> that's what we've got right there. And that's all we need. You know, we've got the reactions now. And so we can go if the length of reacts is greater than or equal to 19, then we can go ahead and we can say that we're going to stop processing this because we don't support more than 20 reaction rolls. And if you're currently at 19, um, you know, you can't go ahead and add another one because there's not support for that though actually i think i think the messages are 20 so we'll go 20 and that should be fine so we're just going to go ahead and say this does not support more than 20 reaction rolls we're going to go ahead and we're going to return and that's all we need to do so we're going to check the is instance now we're going to work with the emoji so if it's not a discord.emoji, we're going to go ahead and go emoji, equals emojis, dot get emoji, and then emoji is just going to be equal to emoji, dot pop. So emojis is the uh, library we've imported at the top. This basically just lets us work with our Unicode emojis and things that aren't actually discord emojis classes. So that's just pretty something, you know, just niche. You shouldn't have to worry about it, but you know something that pops up otherwise we're going to check if it is actually a discord emoji if we can actually use it because there's some you know you'll be able to use it but your bot won't be able to use it because it's in a different <laughs> a different server so we're going to go ahead and if not emoji dot is usable wait ctx ctx dot send i can't use that emoji Sweet. So now we're just going to convert it to a string so that we can keep it uniform across all of our commands. We're going to upset that into our database and then we're going to rebuild our uh, role embed. We can go await self dot dot the reaction roles to upset. Then we're going to upset a dictionary where the ID is going to be the build ID. Actually, it's the emoji ID. And uh, we actually have a specific guild ID. 
the role is going to be our role.id and then our guild ID is going to be the ctx.guild ID. I get them confused because I always work with the IDs as the snowflake which is ctx.guild.id. Anyway that's done. Now we can go ahead and do another favorite method I like to call call a method that doesn't exist. We're going to give that ctx.guild.id. Put an underscore there so it's correct. Go ahead and define that up here. So pretty much what this is going to do is it's going to work with our database, work with our data set, and it's just going to rebuild the role embed. So this bad boy right here is our role embed with all of them. So whenever you add or remove a new reaction role, you want this to update. I've gone ahead and made a method just so we can keep it streamlined between the two. So we need to get our data firstly. So I'll wait self.bot.config.find build that in and then we can go ahead and we can go channel underscore id is equal to data channel underscore id do the exact same for a message id sweet and you guys might be wondering how come i'm not checking against none types like we're doing up here but we're doing that up here, which is precisely why I'm not doing it. In this method, we're guaranteed to have the required information because we check uh, with our custom check before the command runs. So you don't have to worry about that here. Anyway, we need the guild, the channel, and the message, so let's fetch those. I'm fetching them rather than using a get because I don't want to have to worry about our cache. This will call... Um, the API rather than querying the cache however I don't want to have to worry about that and it should be fine however if you're worried about that feel free to make some sort of form of change you know calling get channel rather than fetch channel or you know making an exponential back off function that starts with get times out over time you know going slower and slower before eventually falling back to fetch but personally I just went with fetch because it clears up the air and makes sure that we're definitely getting our channels and messages and things like that. Cool, so now we've got our guild, our channel and our message. Let's go ahead and make an embed. We're gonna call it the exact same as what we did when we set it up in the first place. So title is going to equal reaction roles. And then we're gonna go await message plan underscore reactions so this will get rid of all the current reactions on there so both of these will be gone and so that makes it nice and clean and we don't have to worry about like checking if some already exist or only removing the specific one so it's pretty easy for us to do we're just going to make another string for our description and then we're going to get all of our reaction roles reaction roles is going to be equal to await self.bot.reaction underscore roles dot get underscore all and now that we've got those we just need to filter those so it's only for our guild we can go ahead and we can filter it by our guild so if we didn't filter right now it would be adding every reaction role for every single guild and as you might be able to guess that's that's not quite what we want we're going to go reaction roles equal to a list filter Lambda. Uh, and we can actually just go ahead and copy this code right here. Put that in there. Might have too much of a parentheses there, but boom, that should be working perfectly fine. So let's go ahead, let's iterate over that for item in reaction roles. The role is going to be equal to guilt dot get underscore role. We're gonna give it the item and we're gonna give it the role part of that. Boom easy our description is now going to be plus equal to an f string where we've got the item and it's emoji and then we're going to split that with the colon and we're going to put roles dot mention put a new line character on there and you're good to go so we're going to go away message dot add underscore reaction and then we're just going to include our items ID. 
because that's actually the emoji. And then down here we can just go embed.description is equal to description and then await message.edit embed equals embed. Now we could be done right here and then, but I do want to go ahead and say something, you know, just like, hey, look, I've done that for you. So let's just go await ctx.send. That is added and good to go. Let's go ahead and let's test this. And so we're in our Discord channel. You can see it's in here. We can go help add. I forgot it was a sub command. <laughs> anyway, there we go. We can go uh -uh, add. Let's go ahead and let's put the joy in there. And then what role do we want to give out? Now, I'm personally thinking I like this head eggs role. So we can go ahead, we can add that there. Boom. Uh, it's not saying anything. Uh, what's it done? There we go. It just took a while. That's all right. It might take a while, API and all that. So we can scroll up to our original message and you'll see it's in there now. Also, Easter egg if you can figure out what's changed. <laughs> Something has changed. Might be the colors, might be the roles, might be nothing. You know, you never know. Comment down below if you can figure out what the change is. Anyway, that's all added now. We can go ahead. Ah, there's a double up. I want to remove that double up. So let's go ahead and make a remove command. We're going to go ahead. We're going to copy and paste this again. Boom. Ready? Look at this. Remove. Mmm. It's going to be exactly the same. We're going to go async death rr underscore remove. It's going to take self ctx and an emoji, which is going to be type entered to typing dot union. Nice, it pops up straight away. And then we're going to go discord.emoji this time, rather than embed, and a string. That's all. Then we're going to go remove an existing reaction role. We can just go ahead and we can go if not is instance emoji, discord.emoji. Emoji equals emojis dot get emoji as we did before, exactly the same. Sweet, now we're good for the really hard part of this. We're gonna go await self dot bot dot reaction rolls dot delete. We're gonna give it the emoji and we're, and we're done. We're, we're done. That's it. I'm out. Um, not quite, not quite. We do have to rebuild the role in bed. Um, but you know, how do we do that? Ctx.kill. But I need. And then we just go, oh wait, oh wait, oh wait, Ctx does send. That should be almost done. And removed for you. We can go ahead, we can run the bot. <laughs> Let's go see if it's really that hard. I like the eye a bit more. So let's go, uh uh. Remove crossed swords. Bam, 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 bam. They should be all done and removed for you. Let's scroll up really slow and suspenseful. See, look at that, all done. Bam. And on that note, that's the end of Discord.py episode 22.2. Come back for next episode where we're going to be finishing this off and you'll actually be able to get the roll by clicking on the uh, reaction. Peace out, guys.